Hello there. This week's movie... I got interrupted, sorry, I'll be back. There's like a female robot announcing the movie logos at the start of the movie. That's unique. It's, future, it's a sci-fi movie. So when this movie came out, I remember seeing the trailer and never actually watched the movie. Why? I don't know. Uh, people compared this to Venom, actually. Um, apparently had similarities. Um, so this is set in the future. Uh, technology controls everything. Um, this guy has a chip and it enhances him. Um, and there's authorities after him, I think, for something. So he's got to he's got to fight his. I don't, it's something like that, anyway. It sounds like Venom a little bit. <laughs> and apparently, like, I mean, the guy looks like Tom Hardy as well, which is even an even funnier thing. I think it came out around the same time as Venom as well. So there were a lot of comparisons. I don't know why I waited so long to see it, but uh, no, I'm watching it. Hopefully, it's good. Um, and if any, if there's, if there's anything I've missed about the plot, I'll let you know because I'm just going off the synopsis and stuff and what people, what people have said um, but yeah let, let's see how it goes and he does look like Tom Hardy that escalates very quickly we're 17 minutes in now so he has a wife or he had a wife because uh, well they, they had a self-driving car and the car was basically a robot it would drive him around it would follow instructions whatever what I'm assuming happened is someone hacked into the car so the car started not obeying them and it went to a random like neighborhood that was quite dangerous and then there's this gang, uh, so the, they crashed the, the car crashes on on purpose. I'm assuming the gang is behind it. I assume they hacked it. Um, they drag him out, and uh, they shoot her, and they shoot him as well. But he survives. He is paralyzed now. He's in a wheelchair, and she's gone. So uh, his life has just been turned upside down, just like that. So what I'm assuming is at some point someone gives him a chip that upgrades him because he can't even walk right now without assistance he has to you know he can't even eat without assistance actually i'm assuming someone offers him this upgrade he takes it and he goes on a revenge mission like this must be a revenge movie it's got to be right just set in a future world yeah it's literally what i said it's literally how i expected it as well it's literally like you normally you imagine how something will happen and it happens differently this time is exactly what i expected the guy is in hospital bed a random stranger comes up to him, I can do this crazy operation for you that will heal you and you'll be okay. And then he says no no at first, then he convinces them to say yes. He's the first person to do this revolutionary new operation. And then it doesn't work instantly, but then it starts working afterwards. I've seen this trope before. Not that that makes it bad, it's just that, you know, yeah, but there's many movies that do things that have been done before in movies and shows. I'm just pointing out, like, I've seen this kind of thing before, but I'm interested. Um, he's got this chip, and I remember seeing the trailers years ago. I remember he was really good at fighting, and I think this chip helps him, you know, combat-wise. So I'm looking forward to that. He's obviously, like, he's spoken to the police officer trying to hunt down the criminals, but I'm pretty sure he's going to get revenge himself. Okay, so this chip they inserted in, it has its own AI, and it can talk to him through his head. Venom. <laughs> A bit like, just a little bit like Venom. Okay, I can see even more the comparisons now. It's interesting because only only he can hear the AI inside him. So it looks like he's talking to himself, but actually that's him. Venom. So this AI is actually very smart and it helps him identify one of the killers of that gang that killed his wife. Not the one that shot his wife, but um, it literally, the AI, he looked at the drone footage of the incident because there was a drone watching and the AI inside him it's called STEM, I could call it STEM because that's what it's called STEM, STEM identified a couple things um, one that the guy that shot her did not have a gun his hand was the gun so that's interesting, interesting technology and another guy um, while he was getting something out of the car he had a tattoo on his wrist, a military tattoo it's like a circle but it's like it translates to something and uh, the the AI did calculated not calculated but the AI could read that logo a normal human can't and uh, it identified the the former marine soldier and his exact address and his name so that's quite interesting but he can't go to the police because he doesn't have specific proof yet and he's not allowed to tell anyone about the operation the operation or the AI inside him stem he's not allowed to tell anyone about that he's non-disclosure I'm assuming uh, the future version of whatever that agreement is so he's got to prove he's the killer even though he knows he's 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 not even the killer he's part of the gang he's got to prove he was involved without saying that he found out from an AI from an operation that's illegal 
So uh, he's now in the house of that guy trying to uh, find some evidence. Okay, interesting. So Stem is the thing that knows how to fight, not him himself. I mean, that makes sense now, now that I know the detail. But uh, yeah, um, he goes into the house, the guy comes home, uh, Stem, he gives permission for Stem to take control of him. And Stem controls his body to fight the, fight the guy in the house <laughs> and kills him. <laughs> and it's really funny because he, the guy doesn't want to kill him, but Stem is doing it. So he's just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stem, he's got a knife! And then he knocks, he knocks the guy down into the kitchen. And he's like, please get up, please get up. Because he's like, he, he wants revenge, obviously, but he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to kill him. But Stem's trying to kill him. He's just, he's just saying to the other guy, just stay down, stay down. Trust me, you want to stay down. Just the way the scene was really funny. So that was good. If that's anything to go by, I'm looking forward to the rest of the fight scenes in this movie. But there's one of the gang members done. But, you know, the guy who shot his wife and a few others are still on the loose. And we don't know who they are, so we shall see. So the guy who gave him the operation is very angry. He didn't want him to uh, cause a stir, for example, commit murder. In fairness, it wasn't him that committed murder. It was the thing inside him. Which is, I'm not wrong about that, so... But I get why he's angry, like, you, you're not supposed to draw attention. But he's gone to someone's house, uh, in revenge for his wife's murder. Having said that though, what do you expect? Like, the guy lost his wife. Now that he's got abilities, surely he will at least look for the people behind it. Even if the, he doesn't kill them, he'd at least seek that, he'd at least seek those people out, right? Surely the guy giving the operation would have thought about that before giving him the operation, because like... It cost him a lot of money to do that, to do that whole thing, and it worked. But like, he, he picked the wrong person if he wanted him to keep a low profile. So the second guy is killed and they find out some information. Um, the guy behind it is called Fisk. Uh, he's just the guy that shot his wife, that's, that's who Fisk is. And um, apparently the company behind it, there's a company behind it, and apparently it's his, the company's wife worked for. That's very interesting. So these guys are powerful, this fist guy, like he had a gun attached to his, in, it's inside his hand. And it seems like his friends have it too, but like he has multiple weapons just from his, his body's his weapon. He just killed a bartender by sneezing at him. Like blades came out of his sneezing fluid. What? What's going on? I have just seen Fisk's sleeve, his sneezing fluid fly into another guy's nose and it choked him from inside. This is the guy that killed his wife? <laughs> My word, mate. So the guy who gave him the operation tried to shut him down because he's still seeking revenge. Um, so Stem told him to find this guy. He found this guy on like the dark web or something. Not a guy, sorry. Name was Jamie, but it's actually a woman. Just, I just remembered that. Sorry, that's, that's, that's my fault. Anyway, she reversed the hack on, on Stem. So she, she hacked it. She hacked Stem so that the creator of STEM can't override it and shut him down remotely. Um, so yeah, and then there's this whole scene of uh, Fisk himself and uh, the, well, there's, there's four gangsters actually, so there's two left, Fisk and his friend hunting him down, but also the owner of STEM also trying to take him back to STEM because they don't want to do it anymore. But the third guy is down and uh, both of the, uh, well, there were two, I guess, agents sent by uh, the owner of STEM they were both shot by Fisk, so uh, I do wonder if the owner will think that he did the shooting and not Fisk. I'm just curious. But there's one guy left, and it it seems like it's more than just that guy behind it, because it seems like there's a company hit sort of thing going on. So he finally kills Fisk, and we get the real reason. Like, his wife died for basically no reason, just a bit of extra money. He was the job. The job was to paralyze him and set him on this path to get this upgrade. They, they were, he was part of their plans to be one of the upgraded people. And uh, Fisk himself is very upgraded. Uh, he's advanced compared to his, uh, his free mates. Uh, he can predict every move, he can fight properly, just like, <laughs> just like the main character. So it's like an even matchup in a way, except the villain's more experienced. But yeah, you find out that he was a job, and the guy that was behind it is the guy that did the operation. Yes, the guy, the owner of this technology, who convinced him to do this operation, was the one behind it all along. What I'm wondering is, like, why did he think that would work? Like, why specifically him? Like, like I assume maybe Fist decided to just kill his wife. 
Like, I don't think killing his wife was actually part of the plan of... Because otherwise, like, why would you want him angry about his wife dying? Because <laughs> you could, if, if you risk him fighting... I mean, no, it makes more sense now why he tried to block him from killing those guys. I think he assumed those guys, you know, would have given him information about him. So that's probably why he wanted to stop it and shut him down. But uh, still, like... Like, well, why would you kill his wife? Surely it wasn't his idea. Surely it was just Fisk being an idiot. Oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my, oh my days, oh my word, oh my everything. Oh, okay, it wasn't, I was wrong. I mean, the movie led me to believe it, but we find out who's really behind it. It was stemmed the whole time. The whole time, the AI inside his head, controlling his body, it was behind the whole thing. Stem is an AI. Um, so the creator of STEM is actually not the creator, he's actually, STEM is his boss, his boss was the AI, this powerful AI that for the final step be to become powerful, it needed one human body, so it manipulated that guy into giving him the operation, um, and he orchestrated everything, um, his wife's murder, uh, the gang members, he orchestrated everything. And then he orchestrated also because he wanted to tie up loose ends. So that's why he had him hunting down the guy who killed his wife. Because Stem wanted them eliminated as well. So he he paid them to kill his wife and paralyze him. And then he tricked someone. He, he tricked the uh, boss guy into tricking him, into inserting him to his body. And then he used him to, to get revenge <laughs> on, on the killers. And then finally kill the boss and then take control of him completely. So now Stem, the movie ends, Stem is in complete control of his body. And now, the guy, the main character, he's lost control of his body now. He can't use it anymore. Instead, he's in a dream world. So he's in his own fantasy world where he wakes up in a hospital bed and his wife's alive. They had a car crash but there was no robbery. So he now thinks that his wife never died because he's in his dream world. That he's stuck in and in reality stem has controlled his body completely now and stem is now him he, he's no more he's just in a dream world that's crazy and it's quite like interesting because early in the movie there were people using vr and he wondered like i don't know why people want to live in a vr world and then he got a response from jamie the, the hacker and she said sometimes uh, Sometimes a dream world is, I don't, I don't think she said dream world, but sometimes a dream world is less painful than the real one. Which is true, sometimes a fake world, I think she said fake world, is less painful than the real one. And uh, Stem said at the end, sometimes a fake world is less painful than the, than the real one. And uh, he's now in a fake world where his wife's alive and he doesn't even know that it's fake. That's tragic. But yeah, that that twist that it was stemmed the whole time, I didn't see it coming. So for me, that twist made the whole movie. That was incredible. <laughs> That's a good movie. That's an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it, especially for that twist at the end. I thought it was like a, a simple revenge story with, uh, you know, elements of big elements of sci-fi, more than elements, actually. But it was more than that. Um, and what a great twist it was. Yeah, I don't know why this didn't get, didn't get an upgrade with a sequel because this would be really cool. I'd like to see movies in this world. I think that was a pretty cool thing to set up. Uh, Netflix movies in general, I think, are hit and miss, uh, but this one to me is a hit. <laughs> and I took almost five years to watch it. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see you. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time where